All right, hi everyone. My name is Nam, and welcome to the first day of school. Today in weapons history, we will be learning the different types of weapons that have been discovered throughout the years and how effective they were back then. You see, back in the ancient days, man was played with a lack of wisdom and knowledge and believed anything was a weapon. Due to this, violence was rampant throughout the uh, years. Teacher? Yes? What's a weapon? I must have misunderstood. Did you just ask me this ridiculous question as to what's a weapon? What is your name? Well, Ernst, speak out a line again and see what happens. <laughs> Sorry about that. Today I'll be showing you some of my field work. And hopefully, you'll understand why the following weapons were just so powerful. You know, Michael, I have a, I have a better way of, of fighting. I think it might work too if you believe in me. Drugs. No, but you have to trust me and promise me you'll do what I tell you. Of course, as I always do. Don't shoot them, okay? Don't, Nam. Nam, now you're gaslighting me. Nam, you're literally dead. Okay. Okay, it didn't work. Children, you must understand. Violence should always be used as a last resort. I tried to demonstrate that, but it wasn't very effective. You see, back in the day, it was surmised that our ancestors were savage brutes that fought each other with our bare hands. They would supposedly fight over any small thing, territory, food, water, but the truth was recently uncovered due to an explorer. You see, cavemen were not as dumb as we had thought them to be. They invented the Doom Fist and would use it to fight their enemies. <laughs> no, I... Hi, Michael. <laughs> Man, did you give me a chance there? I missed my punch. <laughs> you see, children, these weapons are still relatively difficult to use today by modern men. The gauntlets allowed superhuman techniques, if wielded properly. Increasing speed, power, jumping great leaps, and soaring through the skies with just the force of a punch. It was amazing. It man, was true. the way that you like your ideas, like they just don't work, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> As I was saying, take for example the diva on the ground. Ideally, you charge up the punch and kill, right? Well, not always. You see, attempting to use such weapons today is a very difficult thing, since while launching or defending yourself, you're at the mercy of others with their long-range weapons. No, That's not to say you can't no, find any success. Oh. 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 I got one. I got two. Big piece, man. I got not three. Well, shit. Well, shit. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, there's your content, man. <laughs> That's what I needed. There we go, and I can have this fucking character. <laughs> I didn't even get to see the punch. The whole point, I didn't even get to see. Insane, um, Insane! That punch, man. That's the play! Oh, I think it was one kill. Let's go. What? Yes, I know, very impressive, but this weapon was a bit too much for me. Anyway, on to the next chapter, rocks. Objection! What? Sir, are you trying to tell me that cavemen only use their upper body strength? That's preposterous. Cavemen have legs. You know what humans are capable of doing with their bottom arms? Their ancestors only able to rocket power punches and jump really far with the aid of a gun. What a joke this class is, and you call yourself a professor? You know what? You look like someone who doesn't use their legs. Shut up! Shut up, you bum! I had to finish speaking! You are completely wrong, though. Legs were used to fight in multiple ways and allowed fighters with weaker upper body strength to come out on top. However, with the superior rocket gauntlet in the mix, kicking was seen as a worthless technique. I mean, why bother pushing someone away when you had a punch that could crack skulls and walls? Regardless, I still have some footage of my fieldwork to show you all. Watch as the enemy tries to sneak up and kill my ally. Well, with a little help of my leg, it's no longer a problem. Here's where the issue starts to come in. Watch as I approach, and I get kited. You lack range. You have no way to close the distance aside from walking straight up to the enemy, which doesn't always work out. 
See here how the fist connects and damages my colleague. He survives unscathed due to the wielder not being perfect with the weapon either, but once again, I try to help out my teammate but run into the first problem. Here's a big pro about kicking though. See, with their intense leg strength, kicking allows us to push our enemies that want to get close. Always a useful technique. Fuck. Other times, kicking gives us a way to reposition ourselves defensively, in a way that hopefully helps us to survive. Watch as this woman attempts to kill me with guns and axes, but she can't because she can't get close enough to get the job done. Now children, watch as I lead her in the palm of my hand. Dance, puppet, dance. Where did she go? Oh, a Zen. Damn it. Now here's another good example of repositioning the enemy away from us. For now I look around trying to spot danger and boom, the queen comes back just to get a foot in her mouth. But that's not all, an acquaintance of hers has come to aid her in a quest to kill us. Wow, wow, just brilliant. Now children, this is my most prized moment in the feed. Watch. Beautiful technique. Look at it. Oh my god. Breathtaking. Well, everyone, it's the end of the day. I wish you all a fantastic day. But before you go, here's the homework learn how to throw a punch, learn how to kick, and get to. What? Sir, what do you mean? There's a a somber behind us. There is. There always is a somber behind there us. Is. Even games with no somber. Okay, that was literally gaslighting. She's not here. She's in front of us. Gaslight him. Gaslight him. Michael, my balls are in your jaw. If you can just move up, move up a little bit. Ow. Uh, yeah, Nam, I just got hacked. I think this is kind of your fault, Nam. I agree. Michael, we could literally just be like, hi, how's your day? And you'd be like, gaslight him, gaslight him, gaslight him. Gaslight <laughs> I agree, like Michael. Gaslight gas him. Yeah! That was awkward. Okay, but like, my damage, though. I like my damage, though. But like, Sal's damage, though. Shh, don't, shh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sal. trying. Yeah, that's, that seems clear. Okay, hey, thanks for the three orbs of harmony, Nam. Do you want more? Give me orb. More. 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 Thank you. Oh, yes. Can you guys get to the point? Why is no one going? Do you have a Symmetra? She's insane. They have a Bastion again. Bastion's almost dead. Bastion's dead. No, I stopped the res. I stopped the res. I stopped the res. We stopped the res. I stopped. <laughs> you motherfucker. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. Michael actually speed, bro, from Minecraft. Wow. <laughs>